Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Uh, it's kind of a quick fire tutorial as we go back into some normal tutorials. Uh, and today we're going to be discussing plant a protection value or PPV. Uh, why uh, you need it, uh, why uh, planets require it, uh, and also how you can uh, you know, use it to your advantage and make sure that you have enough and the different ways to approach it. So, what is planetary protection value? Planetary protection value is the value that each planet requires once they have done one of two things. Either their population is 50% over the amount uh, that they can support. So let's say you have a uh, planet uh, or, or a moon, let's look at like Demos, which can only set like 190,000 people or something. Uh, the moon and Mars, obviously. Uh, if the population hits a hundred thousand, it will then require a planetary protection value. But for planets or other bodies that can support higher populations, the value they need to hit before they start generating a planetary protection value is going to be ten million. So let's let's go have a look here. So there's a few things. There's a few rules. So one. Your homeworld can never generate a planetary protection value. It never requires planetary protection. So even though this is, this world is massive, it doesn't need any planetary protection. And then we have all of these worlds. Okay, so you know we have Ares, Diana, Apollo, all of that stuff, and they all require a certain planetary protection value because they are over the amount so how look at diana requires three and i'm providing zero but you're wondering well how how is it doing fine well as you can see here the production modifiers and all these modifiers 100 percent which means that there's no issues i will show you in a little bit why that is and why i have no ships but i'm still able to keep it up then we have aries which requires five because it has a population of 25 million so it's it's very interesting in how it's done. Um in the you know, the higher the population, the more this scales up in terms of requirements, and if you do not have the planetary protection value, then you're going to lose economic and uh, political stability modifier well not economic modifiers, but you're gonna lose political stability modifiers, which is then gonna affect your economic modifiers and it's gonna go basically round in circles and it's not gonna be very good for your planet. Then we have another planet, Essence, which is in another solar system. Now, because it's in another solar system, it requires planetary protection value. And because it requires planetary protection value, I have no ships and nothing there. We can have a look here. Um, where is it? Uh, there we go. Unrest is rising on Essence due to insufficient military protection. Political stability is now 97.7%. So, this will start decreasing, obviously. And this also affects manufacturing efficiency and all of this grandiose stuff. So, how did these planets be completely fine? Well, I'm glad you asked. If we go over to my ground forces, you'll notice that each of these planets has an infantry uh, cohort on it. We have an infantry battalion, an infantry brigade, and another infantry brigade. So, based off the size of, of ground forces on the planet, the planet will uh, not lose political stability. Think of them as riot police. Now, they're not fixing the core problem, okay? Uh, instead, what they're doing, instead of fixing the core problem, they're halting it. They're stopping riots. They're stopping people doing things. And so the planet will stay at a status quo. Okay, so this is something you can do, and because ground forces require a maintenance, it's pretty easy. So you have one way of dealing it with this, is just putting ground forces on it. Now you may be wondering, how do I know how many ground forces uh, I will need to be able to suppress it? Uh, we haven't really figured that out just just yet, but generally. Uh, it's the size of the ground forces that matter that we've kind of come to, so uh, the, the, the higher the size, the better, generally. Um, 
So yeah, that is how you do it that way. Now we're going to have a look at the other way. So uh, if we go to my class design window, I have this ship, okay? So this ship has 10 particle beams. And up here, we can see a PPV score for the ship. So, planetary protection value for this ship is going to be 70. So, in the system, so PPV is a system wide thing. So, if I have a ship on my home world, it's going to protect my other planets in the system. It will provide 70. So, one of the things is you don't need anything else. You just need weapons. Okay. You just need weapons. Um, and they will provide a certain amount of planetary protection value. Okay, so these particle beams provide seven planetary protection value each, um, due to their class and their, and their weapon type and uh, you know what they do, um, and and uh, the, the damage they inflict, stuff like that. You don't need the power uh, power reaction. You don't need any of that, and they will still provide the planetary protection value accordingly. Now, um, let's kind of let, let's 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 get them moving. So I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of show you in real time them doing their work. So I'm gonna build one of these ships, and I'm going to um, I'm gonna what you call it? I'm gonna create a I'm gonna create uh I thought I could teleport directly onto the planet, but unfortunately I will not be able to. So um i'm going to just quickly add in some engineering uh just 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 so we don't break down the ship in like five seconds there we go so i'm going to create one of those instant build there we go so we just instant build that ship and then i'm going to go to our battle fleet as we can see here i'm going to grab this ship i'm going to send it to port from centauri so. There we go, there it goes. Okay. And now if we have a look at Pox for Centauri, the political stability is gonna to start to go up. So uh where is it? Political stability now 94.4%. So now it's staying down, but it's not staying down because of military protection. So it's staying down because of infrastructure requirements. So I'm going to add some infrastructure here. And. Oh, not all of my mines. <laughs> I'm going to add some infrastructure here. And. That will I will be able to support the planet as we can see. So if we if we just wait, uh, resources exhausted. You look survey sensors. Um, it should have given me a message. I may have missed it. Uh, but yeah, now it's starting to raise. So it was a ninety four percent. Now it's starting to raise all the way up accordingly. So uh, that was 30 days, um, and then we'll do another 30 days as we can see here. Um, and then if I have a look at the planet, there we go, it's at 98.92% now, which is what you can see. So, and you can see the amount is being given out. So there we go, that, that's, that's the planetary protection value for our system being dealt with accordingly by sending a ship there to deal with it. Now, if you want to do this in the systems, you may think, okay, well, I'm going to need to have supply chain side up. I'm going to have stuff sorted out already. Yes, you are. Um, you can send ground forces and they won't require supply, but you generally go on a logistics chain anyway. So what I mean by that is you're going to have maintenance. You're going to bring maintenance facilities to an outpost in the system You're gonna that can support a certain amount of ships to provide planetary protection value. Then you're going to have maintenance supplies be shipped in to those facilities uh all the all resources ships to facilities for them to make their own and then they're going to use those supplies to support the ships in orbit and they're going to then use that 
to provide the plan's possession rally. So you need to kind of think about where you're going to have these outposts and make sure you've got everything sorted out and your planetary protection rally is covered. Otherwise, your planets are going to become very useless very, very fast. There is another thing that you can do if you do not like playing with planetary protection rally or you just don't enjoy it. And that is, you're going to edit your militancy to zero. If you edit your military to zero, you can pr you pretty much stop uh, what planetary protection value is. Some people do this. I don't. I think it's part of the game. You need to deal with it. But that is something that you can do that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Please remember to leave your questions in the comments below. Like, uh, subscribe. And all that stuff is really important. You know, it's hard being in the world of YouTube, as much as I say it, but it is. Uh, and yeah, I'll I'll see you next time. Uh, bye bye.